soldering iron's not too hot. That's odd, man. Nothing will stick to my soldering iron. I'm gonna try wiping it off with a damp sponge. I don't get it, guys. So weird, so the soldering iron was able to melt solder, but wasn't able to tin itself. What could that mean? I mean, obviously, some kind of corrosion on the tip, but I've sanded it, I wiped it on a damp sponge, and it still won't take tinning. I don't get it. just will not. Alright guys, so they're saying sand the hell out of that tip with very um, thick or very gritty sandpaper, so I'm gonna try that. I turn the temperature off so basically it the tip turned to carbon is my issue. which is coal. So if I sand it for a while, that coal will come off. All right, it is shiny underneath the coal, it's coming off. I gotta get all the coal off. Cool, what a neat, what a neat trick, right guys? If your soldering iron tip won't take a tinning, sand it with some 
um, coarse sandpaper. Get all the black stuff off, which is buildup of carbon from leaving the iron on unused for a long period of time. Which I'm sure I did. I was messing about with my mouse last time. Doing all that software testing to try to get Windows to recognize it. Meanwhile, my soldering iron was on that whole time. And I hadn't used it since. Alright, I think that'll that'll take a tinning though. So that's cool to know. I believe the problem should be solved now. Okay. I got an idea. Should probably turn the temperature down for this.
Alright, so it is taking some tin now. Scratching it, or carving it with the tip of my X-Acto knife. I got the temperature set at 600 degrees as opposed to my normal 850. And the idea there is to lessen the carbon buildup. Clip off the tip of my solder. So I'm just retinning the parts that will tin. And then carving the parts that aren't tinning. Alright guys, we got a nice blob in there now. Alright guys, um... I fixed it. We did it! <laughs>